A month after the health department shut them down, tonight a Westerville family dollar store is back up to code. Plus, the owners of a Columbus restaurant fail to show up for a hearing, and we honor the top dog of hot dogs with our weekly Up to Code Award. NBC4 investigator Tom Susi dishes out all the details. Hey, Colleen and Mark, the health department shut down this particular restaurant a month ago, allowed them to reopen. Inspectors didn't like what they discovered during a follow up inspection and ordered operators of that restaurant to attend an administrative hearing this afternoon. Well, they were no shows. On August 15th, the Franklin County Public Health Department issued operators of Delicious Grill on Georgesville Road an emergency cease and desist order. We're talking trays of uncovered meats holding at 52 degrees, bugs crawling on food cutting boards, filthy floors and stacks of dirty dishes. The restaurant reopened six days later, but on August 28th, during a follow-up inspection, inspectors didn't like what they spotted, and today the restaurant's operators had a scheduled administrative hearing with the health department. They were no-shows. Stay tuned. Over to Family Dollar on Westerville Road in Westerville. The Franklin County Public Health Department shut them down on August 15th over repeated critical violations like dirty and grimy shelves, floors and ceilings, holes in the wall. Well, Family Dollar is back up to code and open for business. Now it's time to present the coveted NBC4 Up to Code Award. This week's recipient... Dirty Frank's Hot Dog Palace on South 4th Street, downtown. Dirty Frank's hasn't had a critical violation in nearly a year. Steve, congratulations. Thank you. Owner Steve Heighton and his partners opened Dirty Frank's in 2009 and has been cranking out Chicago-style gourmet hot dogs ever since. Here you go. And soon, Dirty Franks may, may be coming to your neighborhood. It's rolling out a brand new food truck. Local for you, I'm NBC4 investigator Tom Susie.